Hey everybody, welcome back to Tyranny. Uh, first of all, I just want to say there's probably been a few days without any videos, uh, any videos at all, because I've had mega internet troubles. So uh, I'm not sure when this video is going up, but I know there will be a delay of a substantial amount of time between the last one and this one. So I just wanted to uh, apologize for that. It's kind of out of my control. Um, my ISP has been having some serious issues, but anyways. Here we are. So, we are at Echo Call Crossing. Looks like we're gonna have some interactions here right away. Um, I imagine that we're yes. gonna have fighting, but it'll be interesting to see. Enemy may strike at any moment. Let's get in there. It's a disgrace. The Oathbreakers must be having quite a laugh at our expense. Back over here, maintain defensive posture. When did the disfavored commander clutches his blood-stained chest piece as he takes a deep breath, gathering his thoughts? His focus is on the scattered, wounded men around him. He has yet to notice you. And then this guy named Bitter Quip. Your plan has been a rousing success. Most of our troops dead. A bridge destroyed, and the Vengerine Guard push us back to where we started. Ladies and gentlemen, the finest the North has to offer. And for your next act, so... Obviously, the Disfavored and the Scarlet Chorus having disagreements. Big surprise. I need those Furies on point. Don't walk my strategy after working against it. We could have taken them. What's happening? Shouldn't you guys be on the other side of the bridge? We tried to rush the Western Bridge. Blow for blow, we had them running, but... Halfway across... Halfway across, the whole damn river just... The Blood Chanter gesticulates, flailing for words. Lurched up. The cursed Matani swallowed the bridge and most everyone on it. Only real soldiers we have left are the Scarlet Furies that I, quite wisely, directed into a flanking position. A few of us kept our footing, but the advantage was lost. We had to fall back. As we did, the Oathbreakers surged down the East Bridge. We held ground until they fled across, back across the river. But now we're back where we started with only a fraction of the strength. Uh... I mean... It's tough to say. I think a direct attack is the most obvious, and it was it was smart to hold a reserve. And this is how the conquest ends. Kairos' edict slays us all because cousins marry. Antio is born in our overlord's finest waddle into a trap. You're the chosen one, Antio. Kairos chose you to get us all killed, infinite wisdom. My gangrenous nut. <laughs> That's pretty harsh. Had we focused our strength into one perfect lunge, we could have crossed the bridge before the enemy knew what was killing them, but it's not too late. We can use the Scarlet Furies to... No, fool. Stop suggesting ways to get my gang killed. Are you working for the Oathbreakers? We should wait until the enemy is no longer on high alert. Hmm. Yeah, so we can wait and sit for Kairos' edict to kill us, or we can actually do something. Look, if this were a hearing of grievances, I'd let you call the shot. But we're talking about the lives of my gang. Conscripts are a cop or a dozen, but Furies? I've worked hard to secure the loyalty of my gang. I will not stra scrap fine warriors on so buffoonish a plan. <laughs> so we can either strike him and threaten him into it, or we can use subterfuge. Suppose I'll have to tell the voices of Narat that his agents were soft and cowardly in the face of opposition. Huh? Do you think that your words will change? The Chanter smiles wide. I meant to say, perhaps the Fate Binder is right. Antio is in charge. When you meet next with the Archons, you will tell the voices I was instrumental in the success of the crossing. Just like that? No, wait. I won't question it. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Yes, you would best be thanking me and the Fate Binder. We've saved the disfavor time and time again. What's one more? Listen up. For this to work, my Furies need a moment to get out of cover. Fate Binder, you need to run up the East Bridge. Don't get yourself killed. Just draw their attention. I'll signal my Furies to send a rope across while you have them occupied. There's no time to waste. Let's hope your gang delivers. Thank you, Fate Binder, and good hunting. Okay, so let's go looking for the East Bridge, shall we? Let's check these bodies first. Oh. What do we have here? Iron Greatsword. Do we have anybody carrying swords right now? Yep. Let's grab that. 
We'll do a quick item check beforehand. A broken helmet, we can sell. Potion of Revival. What do we? Oh, hello. Hold on. Look at this. Vendrian Guard Heavy Bronze Armor. We have here. We do have a trap. Let's disarm this. <laughs> have a look There's here. a bunch of them. Oh, and we're and we're gonna be fighting. Can't do that. The soldier has numerous wounds on his body. The cold forms of two elderly villagers lay nearby. Two victims that he ultimately could not shield from harm. Okay, so we've got some supplies, a whetstone, and a lesser healing potion. We'll take that. And we also found a Tearsman hunting bow and another broken helmet. So let's just make sure that we have the best possible scenario here. So if we go with this, we get more DPS, a lot more recovery, uh, but extra range as well. So we don't have to get as close. But I think this is probably better. Let's go ahead and swap this. Oh, this is two-handed, isn't it? So he's currently one-handed, and he's got two-handed on the imbued rod of strength. Is that correct? So if we look at him... Yeah, he's better with two... Well, it's, I mean, both are good. Both are good. But maybe if we compare this... Here, let's remove this one. How do I remove this? Oh, I have to remove the, the shield first. So, less range, because this one's obviously a completely ranged weapon, it looks like. The Rod of Strength. I think we'll go two-handed here. We'll see how he does with that. Um, let's check out her situation. So she's got the the spine bow here. But if I compare this, I wish there was a way. Oh, here, maybe this way. Perfect. Okay, so we get extra piercing, 13 to 15, more DPS, more range, less accuracy, more armor penetration. Yeah, we'll swap this in. Sure. And then I think we're good. What I will do is apply a whetstone here to his... Can I not use it from here? There we go. Okay, so that has increased armor penetration now. And we should do the same over here. Do I not have more whetstones? Here we go. All right. Sorry, can't. We're going to be throwing down right away. Okay, so we're paused. Here we go. So, let's see what we have up front here. He's got the touch of atrophy as well. Striking iron and clash of iron. Mocking, challenging enemies to attack him. So we want this. I'm just going to move him Send up slightly. Up. And let's get it on those guys. For Batch, I think what we'll do is Touch of Atrophy over here. Minus 3.75. Yeah, this is the one that we want. Probably just end up removing the other. And then we can Touch of Atrophy from her as well. To reduce his... Okay. Iron Tolling. Party man okay, so we this is a combo ability, so we use this with uh with us. And Barrack and the Fate Binder both bang on their shields and armor, harassing an enemy. The target is compelled to attack Barrack for a short time, while the Fate Binder's mocking gestures leave the enemy confused and off guard. Foe loses all ability to parry and dodge until they recover their senses. Let's maybe use striking iron for right now. Once the atrophy wears off, then we could maybe switch that up. Um I think what we'll do is we'll do heart shot on this one. And then let's do, let's actually back up a bit. 
I will with her. And we'll just use arrows. Count on it. Yeah, we're just wrecking these guys. Not a problem, boss. Okay, this guy just knocked us both down. Is that what happened? Let's try the combo. That's super cool. Now we'll do our combo. Let's do it, you and me. That's so good. Okay, crushed. Absolutely crushed that. Awesome. Ah, uh, really? Matani Sybil, Avenging Guard. You there, and you, signaling her warriors to the bridge. A woman in the regalia, Avenging Guard captain, pierces the commotion with her shrill soprano. Get over here, the disfavored are back. Guess they forgot a javelin or two. Be a dull, would you? Hurl them back. Wait, not another disfavored. This is a fate binder. Odd, I would have expected, well... Just more soldiers. Here to convince us to kneel down and lose our heads? <laughs> Your heraldry, House Matani. Apologies that your river must be dirtied with this conflict. She lifts an eyebrow. I, uh, I'm honored. And will trust that all grievances wash downstream. May the river guide you through the valley. Your friends seem to have misplaced most of their squad. Guess they're somewhere in my river. My family's been protecting this river for six generations, so it's easy to lose track of the looters and vagrants we've come or we've had to feed the eels. Unless you want to try a, a running leap over, you're stuck. Maybe try heading downstream to Placid Crossing. We have more warriors there, and I'm certain they'd be just as happy to kill you. <laughs> um, if you let us cross, we will grant you mercy. Hold your oars a second. I have a statement prepared from Captain Ari for just this moment. She reaches onto her belt and with an impish smile pulls her hand out to reveal nothing but the local hand gesture for penis. <laughs> Wait, there's a second missive here somewhere. She feigns sc scor scouring her pockets once more before displaying her phallic gesture again. Okay, I see where this is going. As amusing as I find this soon-to-be corpse, it would appear that our distraction has paid off. He nods to the west. Satisfied, she turns to leave, calling out to you as she does. I wouldn't keep standing there, Fatebinder. The river's currents are quite unpredictable. Okay. Right. So, did they get the attack in? I don't want to stand on this river in case something does happen. Let's go back to Quip and let him know. Well done! While you were toying with the Oathbreakers, my gang had the opportunity to set a rope in the collapsed bridge over yonder. The Furies wait to join you in battle. Oh, nice. So what's the plan now? Plan now is to lower that bridge. My warriors can't swim in their armor. The lighter troops, he points squarely at you, can move across the rope, then lower the bridge. We'll meet you on the other side. Crossing by rope, are we? In that case, I might recommend that I go last. <laughs> He's got the heavy armor. Uh, for once, I agree with Antio. Bitter quip points across the water in animated alarm. My gang's been spotted. Go now before they are overwhelmed. Okay, so do we have to go back? Oh, we want to go to the western Sorry, bridge. Can't. Okay, here we go. Athletics. Boom. Very nice. This is not looking good. Sorry. We have to go around to the eastern bridge and lower it. However, got a little bit of a situation. So Oh, she's actually leveled up too. Okay, let's let's throw an arrow here. Or launch an arrow, I should say. Um Let's do heart shot as well. 
And then we'll have him go in. And we can just do striking iron no first. Can do. Okay, now we're gonna have him taunt this group. And... Um... I think just attacking from back here is fine with the bow. And even us with the javelin. Mind you... Let's maybe atrophy. What are we working with? So we've got... Soldier, a sage. Okay, here's here's the new plan. Here's the new plan. I think I want to actually get in close here. Where is? Why did she go into the middle there? Is that my fault? It very well could be. Let's just pull her back. The disengage sucks, but that's fine. Let's focus him. Focus there. And I want to get this sage killed ASAP. Okay, so she's even- she's running in to actually use her arrows it looks like so maybe the range is just really bad is that a thing I'm not thinking so but it looks like here I'm gonna bring her back again just attack see look how it's moving even though we're hovering on there it wants to move me in close and then attack so, can I only launch Burning Iron, perhaps? Valid weapons, all. Let's grab more accuracy, maybe. <laughs> Up here, let's go piercing. Okay, this is not going well. I'm gonna bring him over there. Might get a disengage, but... Okay, now she's launching from there. This is good. Let's have her target this one. Okay, and then let's use her combo on this stage as well. Health is getting a bit low. Who's left? Won't happen. Okay, so that was a fury. Okay, we're good. We're good. Now, can we heal? That looks good. Actually, everybody's healing up. He does appear to have... He has one wound. But everyone's healing. Okay, I don't think... Let's not go into the talents for the time being. Let's carry on. We've got a Staff of Boreal Frost and a Sage's Hood. Anybody that can benefit from this, maybe? Oh, that's the broken one. Uh, where is the Sage's Hood that we just picked up? Broken helmet. We have this heavy armor. Is this better for him? Actually, it looks locked. Maybe that means only he can do it. I think we're fine with what we have there. I can't find that hood for some reason. Oh, we didn't grab it. There we go. Sage's hood. How does this compare? Less. 
Not bad. I think we're okay. Will do. What do we have here now? Topaz, thank you. Kairos' butchers have come! Flee! These guys are freaked right out. Retreat! Captain Matani pulls her troops to run to the nearby village. There's too many. They've crossed the river. Pull back. Avenging guard soldiers brush forward and adopt a close formation, covering Captain Matani as she retreats towards the enemy settlement. <laughs> Brandish your weapon menacingly. Raise your hand if you leave behind orphans. One of the soldiers panics at the proposition and breaks formation to flee. Okay, what are we working with here? Two archers, Sun Soldier, and Matani, and an honor guard. Okay. So if we can get Barrack in there, I think what we'll do is we'll atrophy everybody that we can first. This front line, maybe. Look at that. Use your core. Yeah. Looks okay. They're taken off, so we're not going to catch them. So I think what I'd like to do is take care of... Let's get rid of this javelin guy For first. The queen. I will aid you. So his striking iron, strike a single enemy dealing significant increased damage if the target is engaging Barrack, which he is. Oh, everything hurts. So we should be rolling with that as quickly as we can. Okay. We're taunted here. Okay, one down. Atrophy this one. I think we need to get over here. Someone stops my I'm going down. Shit. I think he still I think he still comes back. He's just out for this fight. There we go, launching the javelin. We'll Let's do. get in there with the strike. I'm on it. Come on now. Okay, so he is up. This is good. He's got some serious wounds, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world. So that guy up front, he was dishing out quite a bit of damage on us. Okay, we've got tons of Vendoring Guard armor right now. So as strong as as strong as Barrack is, um, not invincible. Excellent work, Fame by Fate Binder. We'll hold the bridge against any reinforcements. Very nice. You didn't see nothing. I got it. Okay. Our job here is done. Grain, take all of it, and raw meat. Azure Bell. Garnet. Curious. Okay. So I guess... I think our job here is most likely done. In this crossing area. You made it to the outskirts of Echo Call Village. While your allies gather in force around the captured Eastern Bridge, push into the village and find the rebel leader, Matani Sybil. Right, she did run off. Okay, let's actually go in search for her, and uh, let's see if we can't lock her down a little bit here. We may want to rest soon to get rid of those wounds. I don't know if it just removes one or all of them. I think all, but uh, we will soon find out. So, okay, we'll, uh, I'm going to take a break here because this could be pretty long-winded, and that's okay, but uh, we'll pick up right from here when we come back. So uh, I'm not sure if there's going to be more delays in future videos i really hope not i'm enjoying tyranny let me know what you guys think um i know when i was doing pillars before uh people were really interested early on and then 
uh, it kind of falls off because it's it's a lot of reading. It's a lot of listening to me and doing like one voice. So uh, I understand it if if it's a little bit distracting and maybe not the ideal kind of let's play game for YouTube. But I'd be really open to hearing your thoughts um, on how to best proceed. So thank you guys so much and uh, we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye. Now Kairos's final conquest has come to our corner of the world and two of the Overlord's armies compete for the honor of taking our lands. The elite disfavored, and the teeming horde of the Scarlet Chorus. The voices of Nerf.